Hello again. I just thought I'd make this little video to show you my latest invention. Well, it's not really an invention. It's something I put together at a few scrap parts that I had in the shed. Anyway, here's the problem. Uh, when I make my videos, I often like to do some close-up shots on the bench. Now, normally I use a, a little tripod like this with a little tiny action camera on. And I put it down like this and direct it onto the subject matter on the bench. Now, the problem with this is that you can't get the camera right above the work. It's always at an angle, so you don't you get distorted images and the tripod legs get in the way of the subject matter in most cases. So that you you know if you bring it down so you can see the subject, you've got the legs of the tripod showing here, and it spoils it really. And if you angle it up so the tripod legs don't show, then you get a distorted view and sometimes it'll be out of focus. So it's not really the answer. Now I've tried various methods and then I suddenly thought yesterday, I've got an old enlarger stand somewhere. So I went and searched for it and I searched high and low for this blooming thing and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought I must have thrown it away. And after about an hour of searching, I found it in the doorway right in front of my eyes where I hadn't seen it. Anyway, that's not why we're here. Uh, anyway, I brought this thing in and I've made this enlarger into a photographic copying thing, so I thought you might be interested to see it. So here it is now, I'm going to swing it round a lot, see it's very versatile, and you swing the thing round like this, and you can lock it in place down the bottom. Of course it's fully adjustable as well, I can adjust this up and down as is necessary. For example, I'm now turning it down in, it's rather like zooming without altering the lens, because it's a fixed focus lens obviously in these little cheap cameras, and I've gone down now to within Let's just measure it. I think it's about nine inches. So we'll put that there. So yeah, I'm nine inches. That's nine inches from the lens to the work, which is pretty good actually. And I'm hoping that's still in focus. Likewise, I can turn it back up like this, as far as it will go. Whoops, right to the top. So now you see I've got a distance of some 20 inches between the subject matter and the camera lens which it's not only that I've got another extension on here so I can actually move this lever here and move the rod up like that you see and it goes even higher so I can put it at the top of the pole well now I've got the thing right up here and I've got a distance of 32 inches so and not only that of course I can adjust this back down if I wish and alter the distance at will and I reckon it'll be brilliant. I haven't actually used it to, to make a film yet, only, only this film that I'm showing you it, but I reckon it's going to be pretty useful. And the advantage is that it's fully adjustable. You see, not only can you move this, this is just clipped on, this is just a little thing that came with a camera and you just clip it on like that. You can turn this around any position you like, you can turn it up like that you see, then you'll see me upside down. Actually I look better upside down than I do the right way up I think. So you can you lock that in position there, like so, and then you can move the camera, rotate it backwards and forwards this way and that way. You can turn it any way, you can rotate it that way, you can rotate it that way, you can move the loosen that off lever off, you can move the pole around so you can film down on the floor if you want it, or over there, or wherever you want to. And and again you can move the camera back. So it's a multi-purpose thing, and I, I reckon it'd be really good, but as I say. The proof of the pudding's in the eating. I've cut the old enlarger piece off because I didn't need that. And I've I found a, a wooden block. It's beach actually. And again, this was an old chair that was thrown away. And I didn't throw it away because it was beach. I kept the wood from it. The beach block is screwed on with four screws. I've merely bored a hole in here, one inch in diameter. And then this is a piece of old television aerial pole, which happens to be one inch in diameter. It's aluminium, so it's lightweight. I've had this in stock, believe it or not, for over 50 years. I brought it with me when I moved house, and that was 40 years ago. And, and it's all, things always come in handy, you see. If you throw them away, you wish you kept them. And it's brilliant for that, so I fitted that in with a screw down there to keep it quite firm. And so it's all recycled materials. It's cost absolutely nothing, and I think it'd be very useful. There's only one problem with it, of course. It's a little bit bulky, so... Unless you've got the space, you know, you've got to store it. But again, you can swing it round easily and fold it up practically. I mean, if you want to, you could make the, you could take this off if you want. There's only one screw, you just undo it and take the pole out. Um, I've got plenty of room, so it doesn't matter. But, you know, I don't know what you think about it, but I reckon that's quite a good little thing. I'll just move it down once more, like that. 
just to make sure it still works. Anyway, that's pretty close, you see. I'm, I'm, that's about nine inches. Anyway, I think that's about it. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.